Hello everybody, today we're doing a video for GTA Car Kits in the 2016 Toyota RAV4 and today we're going to be showing you how to install our Android based stereo. As you can see it's a huge improvement over the original radio. The screen is very uh, big. All the original functions will still work like uh, Bluetooth music, uh, phone calls, radio and so on. Your steering wheel controls will work. Your also your rear view camera will still function but you're able to connect this unit to a personal hotspot or Wi-Fi network so you can do things like Waze, Google Maps, Spotify and you can download a lot of apps from the Play Store. The original USB connection is still working so you're able to connect this optional uh, CarPlay module so you can have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So we're gonna quickly demonstrate how uh, Apple CarPlay works. So we're gonna go and connect our phone. This is an iPhone. We're gonna go to the AutoPlay app we're gonna unlock, unlock the phone. So if you're gonna be using uh, Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, you don't need to connect the actual unit to the internet. All these apps here are gonna work through your phone's data. So you can do phone calls, music through here, Apple Maps or optional uh, Google Maps and Waze. As you can see, you can answer and listen to your uh, text messages if somebody texts you while you're driving. So it's very convenient and way safer to use when you're driving. So now we're going to show you how to install the Android Stereo in your Toyota RAV4. So the tools that you're going to need is a 10 millimeter socket with an extension. You're going to need some sort of panel removal tool, a flathead screwdriver, and we're going to be using these type of hooks. Also, it's part of the panel removal set. So the first thing that we're going to use is our this tool, and we're going to remove this panel above uh, the radio. So we're going to carefully Get in here. Oops, get it twisted. It comes off. As you can see, it's only held on clips. The next, uh, we're gonna remove these two vents on the side of the radio. So we're gonna use our tool and just simply pop them off. So there's two main clips on the top. Same with this side. off and now we're gonna uh, unclip this top portion just like that and we're not gonna disconnect it we're just gonna rest it on top here so as you can see now uh, there's four bolts so there's two on top and two at the bottom so one on each side and that's where we're gonna use our 10 millimeter socket with an extension to remove them so the bolts look like this so just a 10 millimeter bolt so at this point we're gonna take our radio kind of wiggle it because it has uh, two clips on each side which still hold it in place after the bolts and you have to lift up the radio and remove it so right here at this point we're gonna take our flathead screwdriver and we're gonna be pressing on these clips like that. We're gonna remove every single connection. This is the last one. And this one I just did by hand. And at this point uh, the radio is removed and the only thing you're gonna need from the original radio is these uh, yellow clips so there's four of them we're gonna be using our uh, type of hook tools to remove them so it has teeth on both sides so you just have to kind of pry it and remove it be careful not to drop them anywhere so they look like this as you can see they have teeth on the inside that's what's holding it. So we're gonna go ahead and remove the other ones now. So now we're gonna show you how to wire the GPS antenna and the microphone to the A-pillar right here. So you're gonna start by pulling off this weather stripping, just like that. Now we're gonna use our panel removal tool. We're gonna get underneath here. And we're just gonna drop it down. We're gonna take the GPS gonna untangle the wires. So we're gonna take the microphone, get it, get, it, get it inside right here, and we're gonna do the same thing with our GPS. 
I'm gonna get it underneath here. So the wires are hidden, just like that. And now we're gonna feed them down. Before we cover it, we're just gonna take the wires. Drop them inside. And we're gonna take our hand, we're gonna pull the cables so they're now on the inside of the car. So we got the GPS. Now we're gonna do the same thing with the microphone. That. And once you have them on the inside, at this point you can uh, put the weather stripping back and hide the wires underneath so they're not going to be visible at all and it's going to look like nothing happened. Just like that. And now we're going to continue with these two wires on the inside. So on the inside we're going to actually lift up the steering wheel and move it out forward so it gives us some space around here we're also gonna take our tool and drop this side a little bit same with this so it gives us a little bit more room and now we're gonna continue with feeding the wires so our main goal here is to get these wires to behind the, the radio so we can plug it in there and so they're all hidden once we reinstall all the panels. So we're gonna go here. And now at this point, you're gonna take your hand, put it behind the dashboard here. I suggest doing one wire at a time. That still can be a little tricky. And now we have the two wires here at the back of the stereo so as you can see there's uh, lots of length to the wires so I suggest using some cable ties to make it uh, more neat and at this point you're gonna put these panels back along with this plastic panel that we removed earlier and so that way you're not gonna see any wires so once we wired the microphone the GPS we're gonna uh, wire the USB connections so there's two right here so we're gonna wire them to the glove box we're gonna open the glove box and actually close it a little bit so it gives us gap to the inside and then on the inside you can catch the wire and we're just gonna put the two USBs in the glove box and now we have uh, the connection that we're gonna connect to the back of our radio and it, at this point we're gonna start connecting uh, all the harnesses and so on so in the package you're gonna find this other uh, USB connection and this uh, adapter here so this is uh, we're gonna connect this in order to uh, for this USB original USB port to still function the same way so we're gonna connect it to this gray connection and with this USB I'm gonna connect it here and this is also gonna go to the back of the radio so now we're gonna take the harness that comes with uh, our stereo and you're gonna be so there's no need to cut any wires or anything you're just going to be matching the connections the original connections at the back of your radio so simple plug and play and depending on your uh, car's configuration there might be some connections that actually don't get plugged and that's okay As you can see here, this connection doesn't get connected, but the rest of them do. And now we're gonna, at this point, take our Android stereo and we're gonna be connecting to the back of the actual stereo. So also in the in the package, you're gonna get this small antenna, which is gonna go to closer to the to the passenger side. So depending on uh, which uh, configuration of your car. Uh, you're gonna connect the appropriate connection. So for example, we're not installing any subwoofers in this car. So that's not gonna be installed. We're gonna start with the antenna. We also, because this car has a rear view camera, we're gonna install this uh, Camvin harness. 
and everything is just plug and play and uh, for the rear view camera to work uh, you have to match the cam fin of this uh, harness to the actual main harness of the radio and you're just gonna follow the connection that we connected to the original harnesses so this one right here from the original stereo is the one responsible for the rear view camera that's why we're connecting it to this harness and then into this connection we're gonna take the main harness and connect it to the back of the android stereo this is uh, the connection to make the original usb still function this is the two usbs in the glove box so you just gotta connect this to appropriate connections and they can only go into one place of the back of the stereo now we're gonna connect the microphone this is the antenna which we wire to the A pillar at this point we're also gonna take the clips that we showed you how to remove earlier and they're sim simply clip on to the Android stereo like that so you're not going to be using uh, any metal brackets uh, for this stereo so you're not going to be reusing the 10 millimeter bolts you can either just uh, put them inside here so you don't lose them in case you want to switch to the original stereo or you can just keep it somewhere with the original stereo so you're gonna put the, all the connections neatly at the back make sure that nothing is in the way here so which we see it's not and we're gonna carefully put the radio in and it just simply clips on so now at this point you're gonna put in this uh, panel back and you gotta make sure that this harness is not in the way and it simply clips on so at this point we're gonna uh, put in the vents so we're gonna start with the passenger side simply gets clipped on same with this side and at this point we're going to take this upper panel and just clips on. So now at this point we're going to test everything to make sure the sound is working and all the connections. So the first time you're going to turn it on, it might take a while but you can change in the settings for the unit to go to auto sleep. So we're going to test the sound, you can go simply to the, to the radio. As you can see it's working. We can check steering wheel controls, as you can see they're also working. So everything should be working and at that point the installation is complete. We also have a separate video to show you how to use the stereo in depth in terms of all the settings and the apps and so on. So you should definitely watch that. And uh, again, this was a video for GTA Car Kits in a 2016 Toyota RAV4. I hope you liked the video and we'll see you next time.